and let's get spooky with it. Uh, now we are skipping all the cutscenes. The you took, she snarled. So more. Did you I did do something? a small. Nothing. I'll put her down. Uh, just looking into some tips on the speed running of this one, and we're gonna skip all the cutscenes. Like I said to your mom. That Chris, what up, you. my boy? We will be. S oh, oh, okay. We're Almost we're doing it. Uh, not just a speed run. So we're doing speed run, no um healing, no heals. So I won't be using any heals. Um, and then go, also no saves. So Don't I won't be worry. saving at all. The I'll only right saves downstairs. that I'll get Daddy are those weird fairy tale when the um game automatically saves for me. And as you know, in Resident Evil, um, there's not a whole lot of those only at the big significant moments um so no heals no saves and no inventory and i'm also okay? not gonna spend sleeping like uh, uh over like ten thousand lie um mm, in the store basically that? i'm not Put gonna spend off, any Mr. money at all it's just a, a local, tiny little mm. bit to get me started with the gun that I need to get through the game. So we are skipping cutscenes. My mark is for two hours. I'm shooting for two hours. <coughs> I hate this beginning part. You walk like a freaking sloth. But this is a chance where I get to rip the bait. Oh, you haven't seen any gameplay of this? Well, you about to see it right now. I am doing a speed run, though, so... I'm not going to be, um, I'm going to be skipping through all the cutscenes and shit like that, because the cutscenes do actually count towards your gameplay time, which is kind of weak, but, because I think in, um, Resident Evil 3, the remake, if you speed run it, the clock stops. The clock stops stops actually when you're in a cutscene but this one I was told that the clock continues on We're going to be trying to skip every cutscene that we can get to. Some, like, snippets don't let you um, skip them, which is annoying, but... up just a tiny bit here.
What did all this? This is definitely. I would really go as far as say this. Where the like, hell like, am I? Probably my. <sighs> I would say it's my favorite. Um, I would say it's my favorite Resident Evil. But oh shit. Nine days until Dying Light 2, bro, yes. So amped on that. So, and because this is, is a speed run, it hurts my soul, but we're not going to be doing any looting, too. We're just, sprint, we're going right for the objectives. people that that played it um had a struggle with this part because you don't really there's no way to know you want to you want to actually just chill in here for a um damn it because you have to survive the attack and but really, you just need to run up the clock. So you really just want to chill in here for a bit.
There's no end to them. Now, now what you need to do is you your way to the big ass. And I wait. Louise 
Eliza will help. I need the, uh, I need the screwdriver for that part. In this part, you're just gonna have to wait it out. You gotta wait till the lady. So I'm not gonna save. We're not doing any saves. We're not doing any saves. Uh, and we're spending only a tiny bit of money. Okay, so now she grabbed this me. way. Now I'm gonna follow her. Keep it moving. Let's go. You're very slow. The world is literally uh, ending, and you're walking like uh, 0.2 miles an hour. This dude is gonna attack. Alright, and now we need to get the frickin' key for the truck. Right here. And then we wanna get the pick from it. The pick from it. Alright, that's gonna let us get the medallion, the second medallion. Damn, the fire's moving fast. That's how we're gonna get in Lady Dimitrisk's <clears throat> castle. And this is cutscene, so we skip this. Don't worry, and try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. I just Run. don't get it. Church here and grab Damn. the medallion. Actually, not going in here first might have saved me from a tiny bit of time. Guess this leads to the castle. the hardest part for sure in terms of like trying to get nothing but blood quickly. and death huh? so you just have to try to remember you just have to try to remember where things are so i guess if you haven't played the game the man is of no real use to anyone else. You won't have a lot of stuff and like Super Duper Spoiled so because I'm skipping through all the cutscenes. Uh. Furthermore, I can show them that you <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ! That's right! Run for your life! It's hard for you to go forward fast. Anyway, here, break this shit. Very nice, you do! Just a little bit for y'all. <laughs> Too close. Wait, do those freaks have rows? Or 
basically in the in the castle. Well, we're getting to it now, so I think we're underneath the castle right now. And then you want to go right back up here. <coughs> I was just thinking I have this something is the special only thing today. that I'm gonna buy is the dragoon. I saw you dragoon eyeing that one. Is the fucking bean. Please come again. Uh, I do have the dragoon with infinite ammo. <sighs> now we're in Lady Dungeons. Could Rose be here? And you want to run, you want to go and look at this door right away. Then it's going to prompt you to see where the sister takes you. Oh, shit. I fucking hate when I do that. Look up at your right hand. You're going to pull that fucking hook right out of your goddamn right hand. It really sucks to look at. And we're, we're, we're not using any help, um, but there is a challenge where um, you can use um, only four, only four health uh, thingies. However, Ethan in the storyline will use two of them. And that actually counts towards your four. So, you technically can only use... Really, I think you can only use one. Which is kind of misleading, but... They take a rose. Going up these stairs here. And then you want to go in your items. Slice your jugular and just watch. Take an alive, dead witch, would you oh, prefer? Yeah. <laughs> you will look wonderful. <laughs> One thing I noticed about speedrunning uh, Resident Evil 3 is. Do want to be careful not to run by any special items that you may need this year. So what you want to do here, best part, is just line up right here and give it a shot. Line up right here. Give it a shot. Open the door up. Run in, you're running. Now you're in the prison. And you just, you're beaning through here, you know what I'm saying? And I took the wrong door. Absolutely beating it right there. There'll be some enemies. <laughs> Give him a quick blip blot, stun him so that you can run by him. Can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. One of the sisters. Or the 
daughters with an expression. Get you a just yeet away. You're tonight's main dish. And go up the thing. This is the first on a trick. Where are you going, little one? Battle. That's what he This door is gonna open. I'm not gonna grab her stuff because there's no need for me to. You wanna grab this here. This is how you're gonna uh, this is a key item. How you progress. And then you run it. You want to grab that just in case. You never know when you're going to need that. Lock this door. This is going to lead you back to the main lobby. You want to go up here to the... I don't know what you call it. The wine room. The wine the cellar. The whatever. No, not the cellar. And then you use that item. This is going to give you the key to the courtyard. You got the courtyard key. So you grab that bitch. And now you're running. Back down the stairs. We're gonna go back through the door that we just came out of down here and actually open up the courtyard door. No, nope, we don't want to do that. Oh, yep, I got it. Nope, we don't want that. That was the wrong door. Shall I give you the tour? In, just shoot the door really quick. Or shoot the window. Because they don't like to go where uh, the cold is. Yeah, those um, those sisters, you can't sh you can't kill them unless you're in like one of their boss fights. But if they're trying to attack you, you can shoot them. And they won't... Um, the flies that they're made of will like disperse for a longer amount of time. Which gives you more time to be able to. What have you done to them. my daughter? And here we're gonna run all the way down to this here. Now this is we gotta solve this puddle here. So this lady holding the wine bottle, we wanna face her. We wanna face these two ladies together. And we got the group of men right here. We want them facing the horse rider. And the horse rider faces the lady with the bottle. Puzzle's done. You wait for the door to open. Now you're in business. Jump down here. What the hell? I want to be careful in this section. It scared me a little bit, I will not lie. Some of them will jump up. And if they jump up, they will grab you. Lady Domatrisk's key. You're gonna go through it? She's gonna pop through. Go ahead. Do your worst. And I'm lost. Here we go. Now this part is where you're gonna have a, uh, a semi-battle. Not really a battle with Lady Domatrisk. You just want to avoid her is what's going to happen. <sighs> and then she hits you with the... You will learn what it means to insult <laughs> our stomach press. And then she's going to hit you. She's going to hit you. Oh, too late to turn back. <laughs> Oh my 
what? I've played this, I've done four playthroughs of this game, and every single time that door is automatically closed. That's crazy. So now you have the first mask. You need four of these masks to get out. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere! Now this is like a cutscene that you cannot skip. <laughs> Just, you know, ever so slightly, carefully, delicately, uh, weld your hand back together using a bottle of water. Good. Man, screw this castle. Now you have Lady Domitrisk's key, so now you want to run out to the first door out here in the corridor. And you can use the key. in a piano right here and you have to play the piano to get <laughs> super easy solving that puddle puddle puzzle all you gotta do is just move the keys and it shows you when you hit the right one. Now you've got the fucking insignia key. So I just go back up the way I came here. Because you can go around the other way. But it takes more time. Oop. You want to go back, back this way here. Back through these doors. Oh my god, and it's Lady Dumbatrix. That's why I don't Wait, go this way. No. Never mind. So you do want to... Okay, yeah. And you're gonna come out through here. Walk this door, which is gonna bring you over here. This brings you back up the same way, except now we're going right. We have the iron insignia key now, so we can get through this area. This is gonna be for the <laughs> second. So you battle, finally came to see me. Everyone, I'm sick of bugs. This is going to bring you to the second mask. And you don't have to unlock this door, but I'm just doing it. Um, this brings you to this other part here. This part, you have to freaking, you have to shoot these bells. There's five of them. One located right behind those gears there. One on the table. One underneath this chandelier here. One right here on top of that cabinet. And then one real far off in the distance there. That's going to activate a mechanism which opens up this door here. Which is going to bring you to the area of the rooftop. Which is going to get you to... Excuse me. An area to get a next mask. I couldn't do it before. But also, uh, the boss battles are timed. And there are challenges to do them in a certain amount of time. So I'm going to see if I can... I've done two boss battles in the time span that you need to get the trophy or the achievement. Um, Lady Domatrisk's battle, I've never been able to get under the amount of time that you need. And also the fucking doll. Yeah. 
zip line. You'll take that zip line. Take the zip line. This spot here will give you the third. So now this part is the part that I struggled with before. I mean, if you're doing a speed run, you definitely want to know this part here. Otherwise, you'll get lost really quick. And it'll take you a long time to find. But the fourth mask, you actually want to go back through the first door that you had to go through. Remember when you Stupid man thing! You won't live long, even if you run! Out of that... Um, statue or oh, when you took the eye out of that ring and that ring allows you to open this door up so you want to go back through this door and now you have lady domitress's key so now you can use this door which will lead you to the fourth mask now when you grab this mask that door is going to close so you can't get through it so this is actually going to lead you to the final boss battle or, or final daughter battle I you want to grab one of these pipe bombs sister. real quick equipped it I've gotten to you first and you want to oh shit <laughs> that should be the first thing you do I'm going to grab this pipe bomb you want to open that crack <laughs> You no! You will not get away! You're my prey, mother! You want to grab this guy? Like I said, you can't get out unless you crazy witch replace the mask on the statue. So what you want to do is grab that, and then if you turn it around here. It'll take it off of the wood mounting board. And you use that. Okay. I should be able to get out with these. Door. And she's always the, the entire other blood of House so Domitresk is done in by the likes by of her. you. I went the wrong way. Go to the left. When you try to sneak by. I just she's gonna smack me again. I went the completely wrong way. Ah. <laughs> I totally missed the uh I totally missed the steps there. Oh hi Sam! I'm winning pretty hard right now. We're doing a speed run of Resident Evil 8. And I always forget the fucking order of these masks, so we're just gonna fucking go at it. Looks like you're outside. No. You're inside. Some <laughs> the old Your life. 
Cursed. We're at 41 uh, minutes right now. Looks like I'm getting out of this place. This, uh, this part always takes the longest. Rose. This part and Heisenberg's factory always take the longest. <clears throat> game is combining this? it with a bunch of other sets of keys that allow you to open other doors um, so this your next thing here is you want to get um, a second set of wings um, to be able to open the door to the feeling you there's a really cool backstory on the duke and i don't know it but i, I want to there's a video that i saw that i want to watch but he's just like a random merchant dude that just shows up and is in this freaking fucked up area that you're just like chilling he's just chilling just selling but he's good though the world's ending and you want to go up this Stairs into this house here. Just run through. There's no you need. Open up. Right here is where you'll find one of the treasures. That's uh, a combinable treasure. You're gonna want to open that up just in case for later. Um, the combinable treasures. Uh, treasures. Treasures. There's like a few that you can combine as a whole treasure, and you can sell them for like, shit. On them. Code right here. Oh seven, oh four, oh eight. Oh, shoot this guy before he kills you. Oh seven, oh four, and then oh eight, which is going to give you the crank to be able to lift up that tr uh, tractor that we just saw. So this, this is the pathway that's going to lead you to get the set of key, the uh, second set of keys that you need to complete at the next section. There is 
is hard to kill. Right up this ladder. Down here, up this ladder. is going to bring you onto the roof. Follow the yellow cord here, which is going to bring you down this hole. There's going to be a lichen right in here. To kill you. This is where the next key is. And then you just rotate it, find it, and then you'll see it combines them. Damn it. Oh. Better see the duke again. Now you're coming out this house. Going back to the duke. Is up towards where this red door is. And we're going to go into a cutscene. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle? Alright, skipping that cutscene. So now you have the key. If you truly wish to save for the next boss. This boss is not hard to beat, but um, the actual puzzles that you have to solve for this boss are, in my opinion, kind of like the harder, the hard, like the hardest thing, because there's not much that's around you to let you know like what you need to do. This part you can't Ethan. skip, which is super annoying. Come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? Well, you do need to walk. I'm just gonna walk slow and freaking slow. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This can't be real. Am I losing it? So you're gonna get to this door here and you're gonna wanna insert the family photo that was put into your inventory when you started the game. That's the only purpose that this um, item serves. What's going on? This door will unlock. You're gonna go and up this elevator, I believe. Yes, you go up. This is one of my favorite bosses, though. In terms of like, you're talking about getting scared and shit. Like this bitch, this bitch will scare the frick out of you, dude. Stairs, don't go anywhere else. Just head right through this door right here, which is going to bring you into the kitchen, which will bring you to this door. And then you just want to follow this one. And this will take you to the elevator to go down to where the puzzle solving is. Let's Alright, so this one is tricky, 
and after playing the games a few times this game a few times i was able to get the the order in which you have to do these things to be able to get through it quickly especially if you're going to speed run it but just in general <sighs> This is gonna be a cutscene that you cannot skip, which is sick. I love that. What? Wait, where's my gun? We're super duper close to our follower goal, um, so if you guys uh, would be so kind as to uh, hit that, you know what I'm saying? So a few things you definitely need here. You need the key, or you need this ring here. This is going to give you a combination that you need. You need to remove this leg here. This is going to give you a crank to a music box machine, um, which is another small puzzle you need to solve. And you don't really need to worry about the eye or the chest right now. You want to worry about this part of the arm. This is going to have another key in it. The other part of the, this arm right here, I'm not going to use it because I already know what it is. Um, it is the insignia of one of the puzzle pieces that you need to match for the door. It is three eyes that are closed. So you want to go in this room, select the key or the ring, and then you want to wash the ring off. This is going to unveil the code on the back of it. Go back to your items here. You'll see the ring. It'll have the code right there. We're killing it. 052911. That brings you to this door, which is locked. And now you're going to be going to the music box. So 05. Going the wrong way. 0511. 29. Nope. Did I fuck it up? I fucked it up for some reason. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm talking big. I'm talking big. 05-29-11. My dyslexic ass. Going down this hallway. This is going to get you an item uh, that you need um, to further examine the body or the dummy that's sitting. Why is this the, here? The table there. Now you use this here. And now this one. Um, You just want to look at the scratch marks. You can see right there. You can see right there the scratch marks, and that'll kind of show you how to line up. That give you a pair of tweezers. You use those tweezers to um, take a reel of film or a strip of film out of the dummy's mouth. Nope, I don't want to examine the eye. You can examine the eye, that lets you know one of the other insignias that you need. Just for the sake of it, I'll exam I'll I'll I'll, I'll uh, look at the eye real quick. 
that shows you what insignia that you need. So now you go back out this door. Back to where you first came down by the elevator. That uh, There's another room over there, um, which has the office, the boss, and use this film strip here. So right here has this piece of paper. It tells you best friend. Rose is a best friend. Uh, she really likes a fairy tale. The most important thing in the world to us. A wedding gift and proof of Ethan's love. So best friend. Yep. Fuck that up. She really likes fairy tale. Mother of a wedding gift. Oh, yep. I got these two mixed up. And this you cannot skip. It sucks. So the order of the film reel is the teddy bear. Um, then is the picture of the baby. Then it is the picture of the book. Then it is the picture of the wedding ring on the hand. Or, excuse me. Then it is the music box. And then it is the picture of the ring on the hand. So, teddy bear, picture of baby. Picture of, um, of the book. picture of the music box and you don't need to go and grab that phone people think you need to go and grab that phone but you don't this door won't unlock until the phone is done ringing but you don't need to go so now that you got the scissors you go uh, excuse me you go in that little room there to grab these scissors now you've got the scissors this is going to get you this insignia. So now the insignia, ins insignias that I was talking about, there's a door right here. And you're going to want to place that insignia. That one you don't need to change. These two you do, however. This one, it needs to be with uh, like a crow on a like all-seeing eye type symbol going to the right. And this one needs to be three eyes closed. This will bring you down into the basement. This is when it gets a little bit, I don't want to say difficult, but they make it difficult by it being like scary and shit. Just go right down into this well here. You want to turn around, grab this key. Just go back right up the ladder. This key you're going to use to um, open a breaker box, which is directly by the elevator in which you came down from. This is going to be all spoopy. So you can go this way you want to go this way what's going to happen is you're going to run into the boss that way you want to run back around and go back through this room take the door on the left once you get into this room go through this door take the right keep going down here you want to take it out to the left Recrouch through this room that you went through. Now you're back into the office. Now you want to grab this key here. This is going to give you this item here. And if you saw, so we're going to go back this way.
So what you can do is you can you can go back around um, on the left side there's a door. This door gets loud. On the left side there's a door, you have to go and put that um metal piece that shit like a baby, you have to put that into the door to unlock it to get to the next part. You can run around, go back the way you came to do it, but it's actually faster to just sit and wait for the boss here to leave. And then you put the uh, baby insignia into the door, and then you're running through here. This is going to bring you to where you need to get the circuit, or the, sorry, the circuit, the fuse, which is right here, to open the, um, to power the elevator back up. You're going to go back the way you came here, but at the top of the stairs is going to be the baby. And there's a couple things you can do. You have to let it follow you all the way back to this room. You can go on in here, or you can go underneath here. I go underneath here because what you can do is if you go in the cupboard, you have to wait till the baby leaves and then you have to slowly follow it out without it catching you. This way, you just have to wait for it to go around the other side of the bed and then you can run out through this the doll room again which is going to lead you back down this hallway which commenting on the post a couple homies first playthroughs and shit that's awesome all right so when you get back up to the top you're gonna come back to where you came just gonna do a little bit of this business so the first place that she is always is up in the top room the other two places um there's actually like four other places that she can be and they they get randomized so you kinda have to guess. Fucking monster. So you wanna go back down the stairs here and she'll either be in the kitchen or she'll be in the room where you she also could be in that left corner right there sometimes. Should either be, yep, there she is right there. 
Who was behind all this? The next key and also that the makes next two. Flask. Let's see if I beat that. Yes! Oh yeah, bro! Let's fucking go! I beat both of the bosses in the amount of time you're supposed to beat them. Let's freaking go, brood! Uh, that boss, I think you have to beat in under a minute. The other boss, the Lady Domatrisk, you have to beat in like, I think under two minutes and 30 seconds and I was able to be both of those super fast fucking go So now we're back at the top, and now we're just leaving. Except this time there's gonna be um, actual enemies on the way back. So you wanna get your you wanna get your blicky out. Get ready to hit these guys with the blicky. This tree is gonna be in the way of the path that you came down. So you just wanna go right here, left through here. When you come through here, there's gonna be a guy that sticks his hand up. This fucking, this fucking that way you can get on. What are we at for time? We're at an hour and six right now. Hour and six minutes with two bosses defeated. So we've got two more bosses left. want to just go straight straight to this door right here this is gonna lead you to boss number three and he's actually really easy to kill he doesn't seem like he is but he's pretty easy to kill this motherfucker's gonna actually he's going this hole here he's got a good little gun he can actually kill him pretty quickly he's just a good one he's just a good one that there's this goo that's all popped up over here um you want to take this all the way down shoot, shoot the goo some goo you can't get rid of but if it's blocking a path generally you can get rid of it get up here grab this ladder you want to go right into this windmill here. And then you want to just go to the left and immediately drop down. Take this loop. Good. 
good, dude. So now you're down here. This can get a tad tricky. Not tricky, but there is a key mission item that it's easy to miss if you don't know. Uh, and I'll explain it as soon as we get through this first scene here. First things first is you're gonna go and the, this dude's, the, this boss is gonna introduce himself to you. <laughs> Damn freak! Moreau, um, there. I don't think I've been able to beat him in the allotted So what's gonna happen here is you're gonna wanna go out that way first, but you think you think you have How do I get out of here? If you don't, you actually go up these stairs. Shoot that little thing there which makes that bridge fall down. And you wanna go down here. And you need to grab the boat key. A lot of people, what they'll do is they'll just go straight out towards that area with the light. Go back to where you came from. Now you're back, going back where you uh, came from. Now you want to go through here. Uh, the mistake that I've made almost every time that I've played this is I've gone this way first. What ends up happening is you get all the way down here and you realize that you don't have the boat key. So now you have to go all the way back and grab the boat key. And then obviously it's no other way you can go you just go straight through these caverns here what was that it's gonna lead you to this dock right here you're watching and you don't want spoilers there's gonna be spoilers coming up right now um, I'm gonna skip through the all right so this what is a lot to do? easier than it seems he said the exit's in the cut up right into this house here. You want to cut up right through that door. What's going to happen here is that you can try to hit that crank, but there's no need to do it right now. <clears throat> we're speed running, so we're trying to go for the fastest we can. What you need to do is you need to head over to that one and get the crank from over there. Now these parts you want to be careful about because he will the main guy. Not looking for fish one food. Of these, <laughs> when he does that, it launches you into the water. He's gonna do it again. You can always tell which ones it is because it has red on the wood. That and you want to come down here, and then it's really hard to see when you shoot that yellow spot. He's gonna do this one. You're gonna cross. Here, you want to push this part down. And then you want to drop down here. Stinks. Now this part, it gets a tiny bit. Each of these 
Lovers controls the Caught myself a big one. This is going to turn the power on. Okay. So now you're going to want to go back to that uh, like electrical plant thing. This little building right here. You're going to go back there. And you want to go to the box over here on the right side. So you pick this up. Um, you want to turn it like this. You see that black line? That's right at the very top on the right side there. That is the direction you want that facing up. So, we'll look at it one more time. Alright, so orange, blue, blue. So the way
way you're looking at it on my screen right now, that way is the correct way. Got it. Alright, now comes the oops, oh yeah, now comes the uh, just like with the Lady Dumbatrice one and this one, they're essentially well they're not like the same battle, but to kill them is very simple in terms of both of them have like the humanoid, like fucking creepy versions of them that pop out of the that are on like a certain part of them. This guy, his humanoid version is gonna pop out of his mouth. Oh, I guess I gotta do this. Disgusting. Kill. The exit's up ahead. So really, the most damage you do is when he pops himself out of the mouth. That's when you're able to get the most damage out, out of him. Although, if you have a powerful enough gun, you can just shoot like his eyes. Like the eyes that are on the back. Oh yeah, you have to go through the office. Grab the second part of the key. Assemble it. You can go through this door. And then you go straight. And use the lift. You're gonna go back the way you came. I could, you know, and depending on like if the homies like this enough, I could do like a uh, kind of full gameplay walkthrough. This is a speed run, so there, there. I mean, there's a lot more to this game than just speed running it, obviously. Um, I could do like a walkthrough thing too. That would take a lot longer. I probably would actually just make that like a YouTube video, but I could do that if y'all are down with shit like that. So the next part here is um, one of the bosses is trying to basically test you. So you have uh, I shoot this motherfucker because he will kick you. And if you have low health, you will die. What are we at right now? One minute or one hour and twenty-two minutes. Not bad. Use the sixth of the inside key. So you want to go straight through here. There's a path to the left here, but you don't want to take that yet. If you take that, it's not gonna. You'll have to come back all the way. So especially if you're speed running here, there's gonna be a lot of lightning. There's gonna be a 
be a few that you have to smack because they will drop in front of you and grab you. And you're gonna just take this path all the way up. It may seem as if also that I'm just breaking through these guys. Um, this is this is a gun that you unlock if you beat the game on the hard diff, the hardcore difficulty. So not the hardest one, but the hardest one. save spot right there but remember we are not saving if i die i get set back a fucking long ways this must be their dead so this gets a little bit tricky because when you try to sprint through there are a lot of fucking lichen <laughs> But um, he his hits kill you really fast. So now you're just gonna take these stairs all the way down. Which is gonna bring you through this little spot here that you have to sneak through. Save a spot, we're not using it. Uh, now you're gonna come into a boss battle. <coughs> this Remember you? That's not good.
coming down for this. So now you've got all the flasks. You want to bring them to the altar. That's a treasure there. We don't need it, so I'm going to grab it. this ladder that room to the left there leads you to a treasure called uh, I believe it's called treasure under stronghold um, which is a very good treasure so now we're going back to the same area that I was just talking about, or that um, that we were just at, where I was like, "Don't go left, go right." Now we're gonna go left. It doesn't even look like a path. It's kind of really hard to tell that it's a path. Oh shit! Wait, no, we don't go. We don't want to go this way. I am. I am wrong. I was hard about that. Don't go that way. <laughs> If you're not trying to speed run, you can go that way. What's up? I'm streaming. Text me. I'm speed running. Okay, I'll come out in a bit. It's my greatest. Altar? And you want to drive Pleasure to see you this. return alive. Oh, shit. No, we don't want to do that. So what that. was that? I wish there was a faster way to do this. You have to drop it. So what are we at right now? We're at one hour and thirty minutes. We're pretty fucking. We're at a really good spot right now. I don't know if we'll be able to quite hit exactly two hours, but I think we'll what? be like a little tiny bit over two hours. So now you're gonna want to come just straight through here. What's going on? Just bring it to this spot here. So you grab that big chalice and you want to plant the chalice. Not the crane, the chalice. So prompt cutscene. This is the annoying part. This is going to take you down. So we're getting really close. This takes you down. Uh, if you haven't played this game before, um, spoil, or spoiler alert for sure. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your okay. ass across the bridge. Oh, yeah. If you have played this game, then maybe this will ah, help you on trying to do Ethan a speedrun because Winters. the speedrun challenge Welcome. gets you a lot of points. And I didn't think you'd make it past Daughter Moreau. But I suppose you survived worse and back in America. Hmm? To buy I like you. Like this gun and I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. To help you oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. What are you so planning? We're just following the path here, going through these doors. 
We're gonna hit this. It's gonna prompt. Dead end. Down this shoot. Damn it! Unscapable <laughs> Now you just need to climb up here to get to a lot. What was that thing? Very quick. Up this thing here. Up this thing here. Okay. Yo, oh, oh, it's Johnny. What up, Johnny? Thanks for the call, my dude. Up this ladder here. There's gonna be some motherfuckers. These guys are similar to some of the other um, enemies that you saw during the second boss, the Lawmaker, except now they have metal guards on their head um, and so they're harder to kill so you have to shoot those metal guards off first and that will um, make it easier to kill them this place is messed up you're gonna come I've got to get upstairs uh, that thing I'm looking at right now the thing right now, this big thing right here that's the elevator you actually the Duke is in there you actually don't need to go in there Especially if you're not selling or buying anything and you're speedrunning like this. You don't need to go in there. I actually you never need to use the elevator. You shoot that red thing on the door. It's going to hold you up. I'm going to go downstairs. This will lead you to the foundry. This is area that you're going to need to be at to get this is the boundary here you want to go left right away skirt around those guys that guy in that chair he will come alive not until after you grab this and go back However, you don't need to kill him to progress. So now you've got the first um, mold, and you want to use it to make the insignia for that door right there. Seems useful. Opens this door up. <coughs> drop down into here. You want to shoot these red things. This one, it's best to get it right from this box, or else it's really difficult to get. into this little grate. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the mold to create the gear for that generator. Which is 
right here. So now you want to take this back. Go back the way you came. In this situation right here. Shit, never mind. I remember that you can't go back up there because it's a permanent drop. I'm an idiot. It's alright, we're doing good on time, although I shouldn't have gone that way. Way. One of these motherfuckers is going to drop that motherfucker right there. I'm going to go right through there. Drop the insignia. Oh, in there. This guy's going to come through. You want to aim. That hard area. So now this mold is being made. We wait for it. We wait for it. We wait for it. Here we use this. Back down here, you can break that wall. And there's some good shit behind there if you uh, need it. <laughs> that door with the red light above it, that's gonna open now. I thought we could. Join forces against that bitch, Miranda. Here you want to go up through Truly, truly the disappointing. Set. Go up the stair set. That door right here, there. There's some good shit in there if you need it. She took me. Took us. To be her children. She locked us away. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand? Humiliation. Don't be scared, honey. I'm here. <laughs> I'm not like my siblings. Bar Sam H. I'm nothing more. Oh, so I need power. And, uh, to I need enough power. And, uh, are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. You should have never refused me, Ethan. Okay, let's go. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. We are on our way to 100. We are at 87 right now. One time where you do have to use that elevator and it's at the very end. Thank you for the cheer. Got a long way to go. With a hundred bits. We are almost at our sub goal too. We're fucking ten away from our sub goal. I've had, you know, a few goals. I was at ten and then fifteen. So we've hit two goals. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. She doesn't care for us. No. She's long lost all her humanity. 15 right now. So if you about it, hit that sub button. I would appreciate you. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Alright, so you just want to go straight forward through this door here. 
But this part, you want to shoot these little things before you go too far up. Because if you get too far up, you're not going to be able to get the animal. Enemies really easy. Normally, it is not that easy, and normally you don't have infinite ammo, so yeah, it's not that easy. That was close. <sighs> so now you want to walk into it on this pipe here. It's going to go real slow. You want to go and hit this ladder here, climb up and open up this hatch right here. straight to this elevator right here. Just go ahead and hit this button. Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid, and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the, the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like so to see you try. That mold there gives you the mold to create the key for that door right there. So you do have to use the elevator at this point. This is the only time that you need to use the elevator. You're sure to find B4, something new. Go right to B4. Back to the foundry and make that key. This part gets really confusing, especially in the dark. Wow. 
back down through these stairs. have a rocket launcher or anything like that they you can't kill them however what you can do is if you shoot them up they will get stunned so you want to bring them into these areas here where you can stun them and then run around them in order to get past them yo shane what's up To the top floor. Stay down. Again? Can't turn back now. You know, funny enough, 
There are some some spoilers, but like the main like storyline spoilers don't get spoiled when you're metal polymer composite. The huh? Time to fight fire with fire. So if you haven't played to the end of this game, you're really not missing out on too much besides the game. I'm caught. I'm in Rose. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Moran. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was what are we at? the last? The desert? 
Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turn herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. In this part, Roger. you're gonna hit these guys. Make with contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. I have this more than we thought. Watch out. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. BSAA craft spotted. Like Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't, Don't get cocky. Yet. That's probably where Miranda is. Let's go. Large mutated bioweapon sighted. Big ass fucking like werewolf looking at all the men that are trying to come out to you, but you can all run them. Hey boss, it's me. We might be releasing infectious particles for support fire. Keep your mask on. Give me a minute. Roger. Go right through this door. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Umberize, I need some backup. I see you. I've never heard of a mutant mycene colony getting so huge. Hey, I get eyes on you, boss. Keep going. Hey, my mom saw this shit. She thinks she died and gone to hell. I've reached the target location. Damn this. This part gets a tiny bit tricky. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Reloading now. Just a minute. There's a swarm headed that way. Reloading. Be with you soon. Okay, Captain. Reloading. Ready when you are. Rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Guarding the Mega Mike, well, huh? You, you can't really do too much for him. Damn it, I'm getting you. I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. There's an opening in the room! Use it! Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till I get there.
I'll keep going. The rest of you, stay above ground. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I found it. It's the Megamycete. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We well, really should have told Ethan the plan. Just there really wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Cutscene. Skip that bitch. Alright, guys. Final stretch. It's cold. How did I get here? Final stretch, guys. Big spoiler alert if you have you don't I gotta really know keep what the ending going. is. Uh, big spoiler alert. You fulfilled your purposes. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious. Now please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you I'll provide her with two. So now you can die peacefully and permanently. There's nothing. Do not let you get away. complete let's see what we were at for time Take so long. Oh. Look at that, my dudes. 
you can see right here two hours and six minutes let's freaking go guys we did it <laughs> that right there is a fucking that's a speed run